Hi. Hey guys, me Okie Pokey. Today we're going to be showcasing the Reposer Snipe build. And without further ado, let's jump into the boss fight. Let's go. Watch that. Watch that again. Too early. Just have lights on the own. Too low. GG, let's go! Right, welcome back. Now I'm gonna showcase how to build this actual character. So what you're gonna need is Gunslinger Prime Perk using Bullet Storm and Alchemist using the Frenzy Dust. <clears throat> and the amulet, you wanna use Gunslinger Charm. The next thing is the ring, Gunslinger Ring, Point Focus Ring, Sender Malice, and Property Card. 
Also, the clothing, you can put on anything you like. But for mice, I use this four. It's the Crimson Guard plate, Crab the Red Prince, Academic um, Trousers, and the Crimson Guard gauntlet. You can get the Crimson stuff from the secret stuff you have to do when you... Basically, you have to get Red Prince. You have to get Red Prince to become the king. I'm not gonna, like, spoil it too much, but yeah, that's what you need to do. And the really hat you want is pos posing hat. You don't really need to use posing hat, I just use it because it's really good for a teammate. I use it for healing everybody else around me too, so that's really nice. What you want to focus on is the mythic range, crit damage, crit chance, and mythic recoil. Recoil so that you don't have to deal with so much recoil when you shoot your reposer. And the next thing is, on reposer, you want to put on extender. You don't need to, but this might be I put on extender because you actually have more bullet in the clip. And also it increases reloading speed, which is the one downside of using Reposer. It takes so long to reload. Next thing is Assassin Dagger. I have Tainted Blood on it. You can actually prime enemy with the Tainted Blood to get more damage out of it. But it's up to you, really. And then Double Barrel as well. I don't even max um, Double Barrel, but I use this. It's actually really, really crazy. The fact that um, I use this Double Barrel with Sleeper. And it seemed to be so amazing at clearing mob and also doing like fast damage, like switching into it. So when you've been like using in Reposer for too long and then you want to switch to get that damage boost from the sleeper proc and then go back into using Reposer again. And I'm using Helix as a mod and that's it really. That's pretty much the, the build. And now we're going to move on to traits. Alright, with traits, the prime perk is Gunsling, so you got ammo reserve and the secondary is potency since you're playing Alchemist. The other, the other one, I just like based on what I like to do with this build, which is swiftness, move really fast, long shot, which is, as you know, it's just range, give you more range, and flash caster, which is giving you fast caster speed, vigor for more life, expertise for cooldown reduction, siphoner for leech, fitness for longer dodge distance, and footwork for movement speed while you're aiming the outside, handling just to deal with the, because the build, this build is sniping based. So you want to be able to actually mitigate the spread and also the recoil. And that is it, guys. That's how you build this character. Let's show how the damage is dealt, shall we? Right, so basically what you want to do when you use... When you want to do big damage, you want to go with this first. And then you prime everything up. Then you go like that. And then you just wait. Then you go. Then you do it again. Then you go in. Boom, boom. That's pretty much it. How you? This is pretty much how you do the like the big damage. You want to actually prime them with the banish first, but depend on what type of enemies they are. If they normal enemy, they will get like banished into the zone that you can't do damage. But if they're like big bosses, as you've seen before with the with Chahala, you can actually like prime them to get the damage increase, damage taken increase on them, which make the build so much fun. And yeah, and if you want to be spicier, you can also put on the flask, which I didn't use it because I want to show you what it's like without. But what I usually do is I use Tank Crew Font, and you can actually snipe enemy with Tank Crew Font. Look at that. Look at the little replica. It's really nice, isn't it? Very nice. Right, and that's pretty much it for how to make this character. And I'm going to show you some more bossing and see how you guys like them. Let's go. Oh, oh god, I'm dead. Jeez. Almost, almost, almost. Whoa, that's so many. Yeah, that's it, that's an island maybe. I miss. Jeez. 
So close. Two shot left. Should be enough. There you go. GG. That's it. Nice. Done one. Alright, get ready. Oh, there's an ace here, I just realized. Ooh. Damn, pretty close. Come out. Oh, damn. Let me heal myself real quick. Hey, let's go! Cockhead Razor! Nice! Right, let's try to show you the mobbing potential of this game. Let's go. I switch to the shot of shotgun to so do more damage. They can reload. Reload that. Pretty good damage. I'm using my gunslinger gun, to save it for when I really need it to. But oh, it's really good damage, I really like it. Alright, let's go. Show you what's up. Because when you kill enemy, you just reload, like it automatically reload all your clips, so you just have to kill enemies, you don't actually have to worry about reloading. But you have to worry about your ammo at some point. There you go. 3k, there you go, that's the combo I was talking about. 3.6k, that's pretty good damage. In a weak spot. Oh god. Oh, they got corrosion on them. That's fine. Let's heal and see. I get the red buff nice. This is probably the damage buff. Prime that guy. Don't even need to prime him. He's just get deleted. To be okay. Probably have to farm the like aberration and everything else. But yeah, look at that damage, right? Oh. Got him, GG. I miss everything there. What a dumbass that was. <laughs> I missed two shot for no reason. Oh, cool. It's on the left side, I think. Let's go down. Oh, beam. Okay. To be careful. Just in case of how to work this power into your repertoire. Nice, I can do that. Reload this. And wait. There you go. Beam. Still hit me, that's fine. Let's heal myself real quick. Can hit him too. I got a beam. And reload. GG, look at that. That's how you do it. Man, it's, it's actually such a good tool to like single out the boss enemy and then just clear everything and then make you do more damage to the bosses or elites like that. That's why I love it so much. Some people don't understand, but like, I know you can use it to help your teammate as well. You, you can banish him if they were about to take like big damage, you know they're gonna get one shot. You can banish them and then the boss would just like not hit them or miss them. But then you need to like communicate with your team when you're gonna do that, so yeah. Alright, time for this dude.
Let's go. Yeah, there's things, there's things in there, but... Let's hear myself real quick. Gotta deal with that behind me as well. One down. There you go. Reload. Nice. One dead. GG. Easy. Very good. That's it. We have to get the boss out. Before we can open the gate. Should be enemy on this that side. There should be a lot of enemies on this side. But at least you just glue on. Be good enough. Thank you. Reload that. Dead. Nice. Now time for the other bosses. We can spice it. Okay. okay. Halfway. Put that there. Be fine. Take another best one bad. Seven hundred seventy one is not bad. Um. Oh, the one hit me from behind. I felt that. I'm going to step up quick. Okay, cool. Reload. Only reload the weapon I have on equipment, so. Again. Oh, explosion. Reload that. Look at that damage, by the way. Damn, that's pretty good. Should heal myself real quick. that time. Passing to SMB. 290. Oh, I want to get some more ammo back. Nice, got him. Nice. Strength and twenty three. I think I can do it really fast, but I need to be careful not to blow myself up by accident. So it's usually what happens with this fight for me. Let's switch into that. I think I can actually kill it that time, but let's do that one. Reload that. Dead. 
Next one. Good timing. Next one. Got a nice shot left. Behind me. Look. There you go, thank you. Should be dead now. After this setup. Set up. Nope, almost. Close, close, close. Oh. Reload. Close, one more. And... Woo! Let's go! GG, go. Needs to get the headshot in. Nice, right, 57, not bad. 450, should be over there. Nice, that's a good shot. Wait for the ammo at the moment. One here, one there, one there. I think got them all. He sometimes actually teleport to me like that. One of the moment where I'm like, okay. 675 Oh We can again Yep, same again One here Two here Three In the clear as fast as possible Behind me That was still fit of me. Oop. Nice, thank you. Where's he gone? Already again. Found an 86, not bad. I can red. I think my potion has come off without. Nice. Miss. Yes, I missed it. Okay, let me heal myself real quick. Where's he gone? Left side on me, up my left. Thank you. I'm actually missing everything because of the my potion has gone off. Vanish. We get the hit in time. Should be dead. Thank you. GG. Very good.
and that is my Reposa snipe build. Thank you again, guys, for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And do let me know in the comment below what you think about the build and what other things you want me to try out next. That's it for me. And bye-bye.